Okay. So for next question, we are asked to convert parametric equations which is x is equal to t minus 3, y is equal to 2t plus 4, to rectangular form. Okay. So, step one. We need to write t as a function of x. Okay, so since we are given x is equal to t minus 3, we want the equation to be t equal to something. Okay, so we minus 3 on both sides, so we have x plus 3 is equal to t minus 3 plus 3, which is x plus 3 is equal to t. In other words, t is equal to x plus 3. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, from the first step to the last step, we are just uh, ready here. We are isolating on T on the left hand side of the equation by grouping the x terms and constant 3 together. Okay. Mm. Yep. And for our next step, <coughs> we plug in t in the equation for y. So we know the given the question y is equal to 2t plus 4. So let's copy that down. y is equal to 2t plus 4. And uh, note it. t is equal to x plus 3, which is a result from step 1. And we plug that in. So that becomes y is equal to 2 times x plus 3 plus 4. Okay, and this step we just substituting the value of t about in the equation of y. Okay, so we will have 2x plus 6 plus 4, which will be equal to 2x plus 10. Okay, so we're just simplifying by distributing the coefficient in the terms inside the parentheses, and then we just further simplifying by adding the constant terms. Okay, so we have 2x plus 10. So I think that's all we have for this question. Oh, and now we can write the conclusion. So therefore, the parametric equations x is equal to t minus 3, y is equal to 2t plus 4 are equivalent to the rectangular equation y is equal to 2x plus 10. Okay. Yep. 
So just remember the two step. So the first one will be we need to write x as a function. I mean write t as a function of x. So you can either just add the opposite uh, of a specific number, or you can just consider that I'm just moving the negative three to our left hand side. So things we move to the other side, so the sign is gonna be opposite. So negative three becomes a positive three. And the second step, we just plug in t in the equation of y. And after you plug that in, you just need to simplify your answer. You either getting rid of the bracket or adding up the terms. Okay. Yeah. So that's all we have for this question. Let's see the comment. So solution is correct. Yoga.